The Books of Enoch, The Angels, The Watchers, and The Nephilim, with extensive commentary, by Joseph Lumpkin, is a comprehensive work that brings together various ancient texts attributed to Enoch, a biblical figure who is said to have been taken by God before dying. The primary focus of Lumpkin's work revolves around the Book of First Enoch, also known as the Ethiopian Enoch, and two other books, Second Enoch, the Slavonic Enoch, and Third Enoch, the Hebrew Enoch. Lumpkin provides both the translations of these texts and his commentary, aiming to shed light on the enigmatic figures of the Watchers, fallen angels, their offspring the Nephilim, giants, and the implications of their existence and actions according to these ancient writings. The book explores various themes, including the fallen angels who descended upon earth, their transgressions with human women, and the consequent birth of a race of giants. Lumpkin's commentary seeks to make sense of the complex and often fragmented narratives contained within these ancient texts, providing insight into their historical, theological, and cultural contexts. The first section of Lumpkin's work is dedicated to the Book of Furs Enoch. This ancient Jewish text expands on the brief mention of Enoch in the Book of Genesis and includes details of Enoch's heavenly visions and spiritual travels. It is divided into several sections, one the Book of the Watchers. It elaborates on the fall of the Watchers, angels sent to watch over humans on earth. These angels become lustful towards human women, leading to their fall from grace. Their forbidden union results in the birth of the Nephilim, who are described as giants and are portrayed as wreaking havoc on earth. God orders Enoch to confront the Watchers about their inevitable doom for their sins. 2. The Book of Parables this section provides prophetic messages regarding judgment and salvation, with a messianic figure known as the Son of Man, believed by most Christian theologians to foreshadow Christ. The three, the astronomical book. This part consists of astronomical and astrological lore describing the movements of celestial bodies and the associated understanding of time and seasons from an ancient perspective. The four, the book of dream visions. Here, Enoch recounts two visions involving the history of Israel and the whole world, emphasizing the theme of divine judgment and divine providence. Number five, the book of the epistle. This section contains Enoch's exhortations to his descendants and provides an account of the future fate of the righteous and wicked. Joseph Lumpkin goes on to explain how the narrative of the book of First Enoch influenced early Christian teachings. Jewish apocalyptic literature, and contributed significantly to the extra-canonical beliefs surrounding angels and demons. The second book analyzed by Lumpkin is Second Enoch, also known as the Slavonic Enoch. Unlike the first book, this text is exclusively preserved in Old Slavonic and was likely written in the first century CE. It focuses on Enoch's ascension through the heavens, detailing his physical and spiritual journeys and the secrets revealed to him by God and angels. Within this context, Enoch learns about the cosmos, the angels' functions, and even the future of the world. In this book, Enoch is transformed into an angel himself, highlighting the theme of human divine transformation. Lumpkin's exploration of three Enoch, known as the Hebrew Enoch, deals with rabbinic mystical literature and belongs to Merkaba mysticism, a form of Jewish mysticism focused on visions of the divine chariot. Here, Enoch is depicted as being elevated to the ranks of the archangels and given the name Metatron. Written in the 5th to 6th century CE, 3 Enoch provides insights into early Jewish mysticism, adding to the complex evolution of Enoch's character throughout religious texts. In his commentary, Lumpkin dives into the interpretation of these books within various religious traditions, highlighting their influence on Christianity, Judaism, and other faiths. Specifically, he focuses on the intersection of these apocryphal texts with canonical scriptures and their role in shaping beliefs about the afterlife, angelology, demonology, and theodicy. His discussion encompasses the broader spectrum of early Jewish and Christian thought, touching on the intertestamental period, the time between the writing of the Hebrew scriptures and the New Testament, which is rich with apocalyptic sentiment and speculative theology. Joseph Lumpkin meticulously examines the thematic and canonical implications of the character Enoch, the narrative of the fallen angels, and their offspring. He discusses how the books highlight divine judgment and redemption, the conflict between good and evil, 
and the role of divine messengers in human history. The figure of Enoch serves as a middleman between the divine and the human, a repository of secret knowledge and an intercessor for fallen beings. Lumpkin also deals with the legacy of the Nephilim and the cultural fascination with giants and fallen angels. He links the texts of Enoch to later mythological and folkloristic traditions, presenting them as a reservoir for much of Western esoteric and religious thought. The work becomes an exploration of ancient wisdom traditions and their continuous ripple through history, as these epochal stories have been retold in different versions and have inspired various interpretations through the centuries. The extensive commentary provided by Lumpkin serves to contextualize the narrative of the Enochian literature, explaining linguistic nuances, cultural references, and theological concepts that may be unfamiliar to the modern reader. Through his analysis, the reader gains a comprehensive understanding of the meaning and significance of these works, both in their time and in their enduring legacy in religious thought. In essence, the books of Enoch, The Angels, The Watchers, and The Nephilim by Joseph Lumpkin is not just a translation of ancient texts, but a journey through the otherworldly landscapes of early Jewish and Christian mysticism. Lumpkin succeeds in presenting these enigmatic works as crucial building blocks in the edifice of Western religious and mythological narratives, exploring their profound impact on the ways we understand the divine and its interactions with humanity. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.